guys this is Isa from Printstick and welcome to my channel in this video I will give you a complete walkthrough of the new pastel color planners that have just been released in the shop so everything you see here is included this is a bundle that includes your planner widgets and stickers as well as a font that you can use to create text to using GoodNotes I will leave a link in the description to a video where I show how you can do this because GoodNotes does not accept that you of funds but you can work around this so make sure to check that video as well the first thing I want to show you of these planners they come in six different color combinations so this is the first one where you have a teal planner on a purple background you also have a pink planner on like a peach light color background this yellow on lime green black on gray blue on black and peach on dark gray so what's cool about these planners as you can see all of these um, little things you see on the desk these are the widgets so each letter is separate so you can use them to write your own quotes or reminders on your desk area then here this is your planner as you can see you can move it around because this is actually an image and what that allows you to do let me show you at the end of the planner you will get all of these color options to use as your cover page. So you have the front covers and also the back covers for each color option. It's a total of 11 colors. So for example, if I want this uh, yellow cover, I will just use my lasso tool, which is up here, select it, make sure that all of these are turned green then make a circle on the cover you want to use tap on that circle click copy go to your front page which i'm going to talk about the links in a little bit but this one right here is going to take you to the front page so we go here click on the lasso tool again tap and hold click paste and you have your new cover but we need to get rid of the old one so just select it and delete and just place this one where you want now if you want to rotate the cover and have the same effect that we had before just for some reason when you rotate in good notes i'll show you it's a mess you click on edit and this thing turns into a gigantic image so i mean the dot to rotate is right here uh, i can't even get it to work so it's just really weird and confusing I'm, I'm gonna tap outside to deselect and then my image is gone because it was so big and now it's moved somewhere outside of the screen area just tap on undo until you get your image back so what we're gonna do is select this image first make it super tiny like that and then tap and hold click on edit and now it's gonna grow but since it was so small now it's not growing like so big then you can rotate using this green dot, tap somewhere else on the screen to deselect. Now select again with your lasso tool and resize. Bring it to the size you want and there you have it. So don't worry about the quality, it'll come back to what it was. So then this is my first page. So when I go outside here to my desk area, as you can see, now the planner shows a yellow cover. So that's pretty cool just keep in mind that the actual pages let me show you of the planner which start right here so this was purple and teal color and then the pages of the planner are not editable okay so this uh teal color that you see here for the inside covers that's gonna stay teal and this is gonna stay purple just keep that in mind all right so this is the very first uh open page in the planner it's a cute dashboard that you can customize you can enter whatever little uh stickers or quotes or you can enter your name or something like that then on the right side as you probably have seen on my other videos you have links that will take you to my shop and my social media as well as the facebook group that i highly recommend Comment. then we come to this index page so you can label your um, tabs which all of these tabs are blank for you to customize so you can enter here whatever you want to call them and then you don't have to label every tab in the planner which you can still do if you want i have included the font in the download this font that you see on the left side is the one that you're getting so if you decide to label each of these tabs on every page they will match the font that you currently have on the planner exactly all right so we move on then you come to your 18 month yearly view so all of these months are also linked 
Since this is an undated planner, when you click on each month, it'll take you to that month in the planner. Okay, so um, if you click on October 2018 or October 2019, it'll take you here. So if you use this planner and you finish it in December 2018, you just need to make another copy of the whole planner. And then when you start using it in January 2019, all of the months will still take you to the correct area. I hope that makes sense. All right, keep going. And then we start with the monthly spreads. So as I said, these are undated. They also do not come with the days of the week. You can choose to have a Sunday start, Monday start, or combine Sunday start months with Monday start weeks or however you like. And let me show you the download will also include this uh, sticker book, which I'm not gonna talk too much about because I have another video uh, going through each of the pages and every sticker included. So I'm gonna link that down below as well, but just know that you have your dates here that you can use to date your planner so right now I'm copying the white weekdays so that when I come here and I paste them I'm gonna make them a little bit bigger So it's a quick way to label and date your uh, planner. So if I want to add the dates, I would just copy these dark gray numbers and then just paste them right here. And of course, you would have to check. You can go back to your yearly view to see when, for example, if I'm going to start using this in January 2019, I can see that the month starts on Tuesday the 1st. So I would click on January and then it does not start on Monday, but on Tuesday. So you would just have to bring your stuff and down here and move your whole week a day and then you know you would just put every number on the right box this is a way that you make sure that all of the dates look consistent because this is a font so you don't have to worry about your handwriting being nice because myself i have trouble when i'm writing the dates with my pencil which you can totally still do it might be just faster but you know i like them all to look uniform and the same size and such so if you want that you have all these dates here in your your uh, sticker book that is included in the download. All right, so we move on and then you come to this uh, weekly spread. So it's a vertical uh, layout. You have room here on the left to customize each page. You also have your lines down here for notes. Of course, your three boxes per day. Again, these are not labeled. So one more time, if you want to use these um, weekdays, you would just copy them from your sticker book and paste them on your pages. Now, all of this space that you have here, this is where you would place all the widgets that are also included in the download. So that is this file. And for example, I can copy this uh, 2019 January calendar to place it here, make it a little tiny bit smaller. So that way I can see, first of all, I can see the dates I need to label my week over here, but also I can see the whole month in my same week without having to go back to the calendar. So that can be very convenient. And of course, you have so many other cool uh, options for widgets that you can use. And that's kind of like a way of growing your um, pages of your planner and customizing them to be unique to your style and whatever info you need to enter. So, for example, I can grab this little flower, which is like a sticky note. And you can just place it here, make it a little smaller, and then you can write a note. So really it's like a whole desk area that you have to customize. So then you have, you know, each of these tabs on the left side will take you to each of the months. You have these um, week numbers under the month name. If you tap there, let me just go back to June. You tap on each number and it's going to take you to that week. So if I go back to June and I tap on week number six, it's going to take you to week number six. All right. And then, of course, you also have the links to each of the weeks of that month in the same weekly spreads within the month. So, for example, if I'm in June and I click on week one, week two, week three, week four, it doesn't look like anything is happening, but it's actually taking me to that week. So if we keep going July, August, September, October, November and December. You have the 12 months of the year. They all work the same way. They all are undated. If you tap on each of these tabs, it's going to take you to a blank section. So this is section number one. Then you have section number two, section number three, number four. 
And the last four are also blank, but they are um, dotted. I don't know if you can see. These are dots to help you guide your spreads or if you want to have all your images aligned and stuff. So the first four sections are just all white uh, paper and the last four are dotted paper. After these sections, you come to your daily page. This page is also linked to this little clock icon throughout the planner. So from any page that you are, if you click on this icon, you'll come to your daily page. You only get one daily page. It's undated. So the way it works, you would write down here the date. For example, I can write August 7 and you know then you would use it fill out all this info there's different ways you can use this for example you can copy this whole spread as many times as you need you could even have one daily page per day of the month or me personally i just use these pages on the days that i'm really busy and i really really have to like organize my day hour by hour and you have all this space to write all of your list and to do's for example you can add seven copies of this spread after each of the weeks of your planner so i'm going to show you how that works you would tap on the top left corner on these four squares then you can see everything you know all of the pages that you have you can see our sections that we just numbered and then you can see that we are at the daily spread right now so click on edit on this top right corner of this window click there on that page that you want to copy and it's gonna you know be outlined in orange and that's how you know it's selected and then on the bottom left here click on copy when it's uh, done, click done, then click on the plus sign, which is on the top left corner of this window. And then you see all these plus signs that appear. Those allow you to select where you want to place the new page. So whatever the plus sign is, that's exactly where the new page is going to be pasted. So you could go up to your weeks. For example, you can kind of see if you have good eyes which week is which. So right now I can see that um, my I have January, then I have the first week of January and I want to start inserting these spreads after that. So I'm just going to click on this plus sign and click on paste copied pages. And if I keep doing that, I'm going to add more and more pages. Just another tip too you can select more than one at a time so that it's faster when you're copying you can click again on copy and this time instead of just copying one page it's it copied three pages so if i click on the plus sign again it'll insert three pages at once so if you are for example adding these for every week of the year you can just select on all these seven click copy done then you would just scroll until you find week number two which is this one so click on the plus sign and then after that week paste copy pages and then i have my seven daily spreads now one little mistake that i just made and you shouldn't do is i entered some text so all of of the pages copied that exact same text and in this case that's not a good thing because well this is obviously not the dates that i want so i'm gonna have to manually erase the text that i enter so just keep in mind that when you're going to copy a page if you want it to be a blank spread then copy it while it's blank and not after you've entered text however if you have text that you want to get rid of you can also click on the top right corner on these three dots clear page and everything that you've entered whether it's images or uh, text it's going to be gone and then you're going to have your clean spread and then if we keep scrolling we are going to find this um, blank paper this time this is unlinked so uh, if you go to the squares on the top left corner of the page you can see all these uh, papers that you can copy and add behind any section or add them to any other week or month in your planner and then you have the same paper, but with no tabs, you know, if you're just adding a bunch of text and you don't want to be distracted by the tabs, you can also use um, this paper. So you have graph paper, dotted paper, blank pages and rule pages. And finally, you have your back cover, which again, this is removable. You can edit, you can uh, change the color or delete in case you're not interested in having a back cover. And if you delete this, you get this empty desk space, which um, you can fill out with all of these widgets. And then you can create something similar to what I showed you in the beginning, which is this, which I personally really like. I think it looks super cute. And well, this is not filled out. Let me show you some examples I think I have right here. So you can add, you know, all of this is like text that I entered myself. This laugh is a sticker that is included in the sticker book that comes with this download. Then I have my Apple Pencil widget, my banner, which I entered some uh, text to it. 
and of course photos of my baby and my doggy. So you can really, really personalize and customize this planner. And that's what makes me so excited about this uh, new version of the pastel color planners. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna talk about is the link. So don't be confused, please. Uh, you, you see all these colors, but these are actually different planners. I just copied them and pasted them here so you can see an example of what they all look like so you can get an idea of how the colors work and you can choose which one works for you but now i'm just gonna go to this pink uh version so you don't get confused that you know if you see all the co other colors and such this is just pink so in the front cover and the back cover which is all the way at the end the links are here on the bottom right side of the page. These 12 ones, they might be obvious because they have the letter of each month. So you have January, February, March, all the way through December. So if you tap there, you will go to that particular month. Then these four here are the links that will take you to your uh, paper spreads. So you will go to your dotted page. This is for the rule pages. You have the graph pages and this blank square will take you to the blank spread. So where the pages are all white. That's just a quick access to your different kinds of papers. As I mentioned before, anywhere you see this icon with the little clock will take you to your daily spread. This calendar icon is self-explanatory is going to take you back to your calendar and now as you can see i keep coming back to this back page you actually all of these are uh links you have three links the first one will take you to the first page of the planner now i'm gonna go back to my daily spread then the middle part of the spiral will take you to the index of the planner and the bottom part of the spiral will take you to the last page of the planner. So here you know that this page is linked. If you decide to remove your back cover, then you can use this to keep photos or notes or widgets or anything else you want. You know that this page will be linked from anywhere in the planner. It'll take you back to this empty desk. But I'm gonna keep my back cover here for now. So on this page, you don't have the planner, you know, open. You don't have that middle spiral that we had in the other pages with the links. So those links are placed here. This middle one, it has an eye for index. So that's gonna take you to your index. This top uh, button here is the same as the top part of the spiral. So that's gonna go to your first page. And the bottom uh, button here is the same as the bottom part of the spiral, which will take you to the back cover or the last page of the planner. Well, you still have these pages with the other cover options, but that's like extra. The planner really ends with the back cover right here. So don't worry, I know that it might sound confusing, all these links and where they are located, but you will get a guide with instructions and little photos showing you where all the links are. And trust me, you will get used to them really quickly. I think that they are uh, really useful because basically everything in this planner is linked. So you will never get lost no matter where you are. You'll quickly get used to them and be able to uh, navigate your planner very easily. All right, I don't want to make this video too long, but I do want to show you some examples of the decorated week here. So all of these stickers uh, that you see, this is no text that I've entered. This is all stickers that are included in the book. So as you can see, you have so many options. You will receive some word stickers like family, love, love, work. All of those uh, words are included and important down here as well. Then all of these little things here are your widgets that come in your widget library. And this time I've included some letter stickers that you can use to create your own text or quotes or anything you want. So I think that's pretty cool. All of these headers, of course, to cover the original gray color of the headers. This line right here, I use the highlighter. So you can just select your perfect uh, shape tool on the left side and you make a line with your highlighter. And that's another cute little way to decorate your planner. And also I want to show you just quickly all the colors of the extra covers included in the download. Whenever you get tired of a cover, you can just switch it out. Even though the color of the inside covers throughout the planner is not going to change, you can uh, see a different color when you go out to your main screen. And that way, you know, you can change it to the season of the year or whatever mood that you're feeling. 
All right, guys, so that's the new pastel color planner, uh, six different color options. I hope this video helps you get a better idea of what's included and how to use the planner. Please let me know down in the comments if you have any questions at all. I'll get back to you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to be notified whenever I upload my next digital planning video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you.